Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here. And, you know, one of the most exciting things that was basically announced so far this year. I got a lot of hype. You know, as you see it right here, over 7 million views. It's the pre order, it's the buy. That is the Lily camera. But what just happened the other day, I just found this out, and I haven't really seen much about it. Is DJI gonna kill, essentially, and eliminate this Lily camera easily? So this is my reaction when I first actually heard about the Lily camera. You know, I saw the release and I saw a lot of information about it and I reacted to it. You see it did uh, it did pretty well. But the Lily camera was one thing because it's waterproof, uh, high definition, it's a drone. As you know, DJI really owns a lot of these drones, UAV type of uh, videography for aerial stuff. And Lily was something that was, you know, going to challenge. It still comes out in a couple months. It was like four or $500 of pre-order. And then when the sales are over, it was going to be like $1,000 to buy. Well, just personally, I've been in the DJI market as well. I was thinking about getting the 2 Plus or the 3 because it runs about $800. And I have a Best Buy credit card. But something just came out that DJI had. And I think that's literally going to... Uh, do away with this uh, Lily system and the only thing that you know the big things that Lily had was that it's uh, you know very easy to take off it uh, it was waterproof up to a certain point you see in the um, in their video here uh, you know they're in like a little lake and it hits the lake and shoots right up it you know has like a throw to uh, start feature and that you know it was high definition compared to other stuff it's lightweight you know that was some of its main stuff and that it's a cheap buy-in point and that it hopefully it works out well, you know, the biggest thing was there was no one else kind of doing this in this market. And essentially, DG, DJI, even though this is a very pricey investment, just came out with their DJI Phantom 3. So it's in that newer line that they have, but it still looks like a little bit of their older one. The DJI Phantom 3 standard. 2.7K camera with a three-axis gimbal, so it's very stabilized as they've been getting, be uh, getting better, especially if you don't want to use, like, a GoPro system, uh, you know, with some kind of a, a gimbal or Zen to, um, you know, to mount that. And I've been in the market for this, and the DJI, uh, the DJI 2, whatever, Vision Plus, whatever, is $800 alone, and I was pretty close to getting that from Best Buy, and I'm glad I saw this because it's expected to be available pretty recently, and it is only $800. Once again, $800 is a lot of freaking money, but for what this does, what it offers compared to something that's already out there, I will pretty much guarantee putting this on my Best Buy credit card as soon as it's available, which it freaking better be. I really, really hope so, because you're getting that 2.7K. You're getting, um, you know, a, a more stabilized gimbal, something more reliable. And the one thing that really is going to really separate uh, itself from this is the Lily. You have to have this um, tracker, essentially this big tracker so that way it knows where to follow you you know all this kind of stuff because it you know it surrounds you it follows you there's a couple of features like that but the dji does this without having to do that necessarily and you're controlling it from your phone so you don't need to have it necessarily on a specific person with this you can map it on your phone you can set waypoints to do certain things you can say how far you want to go all different kind of stuff it's doing the only thing left that Lily has is that that's waterproof. You know, if you fly this into a river or a lake, it's a good chance that you're, you, you know, you're going to lose this phantom unless you have insurance. But other than that, this is pretty much blowing away anything that Lily had. And I am amazingly excited about this. Uh, you know, so 800 bucks, 12 megapixels still, same exact thing as the other one. But as I said, you get 2.7K uh, resolution. So you get effectively 2K resolution. You're not getting 4K. You don't need that yet. But if you want to pay, you know, hundreds of more dollars, you can get that with the uh, with the 3 and gold or whatever that is. So very, very, very affordable. The Lily does 1080p at 30 frames per second. I'm pretty sure I have that on 1080p at 60 frames, 720 at 120, which is, uh, you know, obviously a huge thing. Yeah, man, this uh, this really just kind of killed the market in regards to what Lily was trying to do, what this industry is turning into, especially for the videography side of things. So what I'm going to do is uh, link this video, uh, the, uh, the, the DJI introducing this video, down in the description below so you can check that out. And let me tell you, it is hell worth of a watch. It's extremely gorgeous. You see, they even kind of punned and went in a you know a canoe and and uh, you know launched it. So this is something that's going to be, I think, very, very popular. It's going to be a fan favorite because it's actually not at a bad price. Heck, 
I would like it at $600, but for $800, yes, it's still a lot of money. It's still very affordable for what you're getting. And DJI, once again, has been huge in this market. Uh, so what are your thoughts? Have you heard about this? Please let me know down in the comments below. So the DJI Phantom 3 standard, don't get that fused with the other ones over $1,000, 800 bucks. And it gives you essentially everything you need just from using your iPhone or whatever device you have. And it's really saying that it's more GPS enabled for fail safe. So that way there's not, not, no, not a ton of takeaways. If you lose connection, it's easier to come home. 25 minutes of flight as well. My mind is blown. I really, really am going to pick this up if it becomes available on Best Buy very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. DJI, poof, you did good.